is Holly with Seeking Sela Yoga. We're going to be doing a quick 10 minute flow today. We will focus on the scripture Joshua 1 9 here at the beginning. We'll go through our flow and then we will revisit that at the end. We will save time to Sela, that time to rest, reflect, and respond. So our scripture verse says this Joshua 1 9, this is my command be strong and courageous. Do not be afraid or discouraged, for the Lord your God is with you wherever you go. So, let's get started. Okay, so we're just going to jump right in today. If you're really tight, you may enjoy more of a warm-up or slower flow, and I'll drop a link to one of mine in the description below. So let's inhale those arms overhead, and we're going to exhale into a forward fold. We'll take halfway lift, and then forward fold. Let's do that one more time. Unroll to stand, inhaling the arms overhead, and then exhale, forward fold. This time we'll plant the hands and step back into a plank pose. So really fire up those abs here. Notice the strength in your arms and make sure you're grounded and stable here, pressing through the fingers. You can drop to the knees. That is always an option if you would like. Take a breath in here. On your exhale, we'll lower down to the belly with control. And then on our inhale, we'll find either cobra or up dog. If you're taking cobra, keep the shoulder blades rolled under, press lightly into the fingers, activating the muscles in the back um, to give you some lift here. If you're going into up dog, um, let's come all the way up, getting a stretch to the front of those hip flexors, keeping the muscles in your legs really active here. So we'll tuck the toes and press back into a downward dog. We're going to do like a rolling motion here to come back into our plank. So come onto the ball of the foot and take your hips nice and high, rippling kind of through the spine until you come back into your plank pose. We'll take an inhale breath here and then on your exhale, lower all the way down. So we'll untuck the toes and either take cobra or come all the way up for up dog. And then we'll press back into our downward dog again. Let's spend a moment here and really just pedal the heels, kind of scanning the body, noticing how you are feeling today. And then we'll walk the feet to the front of the mat and we'll unroll to stand. We're coming into chair pose here. So inhale those arms overhead and take your feet about hip width distance apart and sink the hips back. So we'll be here for about five breaths. You're welcome to take the hands at heart center or right out in front of you, but be mindful not to like dump your weight forward. See if you can keep just a, a slight tuck of the tailbone. You're even welcome to come up onto the balls of the toes while you're here for a bit of an added uh, balance and a little bit more difficulty there. So let's do one more breath in here. And on your exhale, forward fold. We'll unroll to stand. Inhaling those arms overhead. This time we'll swan dive into forward fold. And then when you take your halfway lift, take airplane arms. Then your hands will find the ground and you can step back into your plank pose. So let's take a breath in and then we'll lower all the way to the ground. Let's inhale either to cobra or up dog and then tuck your toes, sending your hips up and back for down dog. We'll come up onto the ball of the foot and we're going to do that rolling motion one more time as you bring yourself back into your plank. Let's take an inhale breath up plank and exhale lower all the way to the ground. We'll find our cobra or up dog and then press back to our downward dog. Let's walk the feet to meet the hands. We'll take our halfway lift, whatever arm variation you like, either to the shins or airplane arms. 
and then exhale to ragdoll. Really relax into this and hang here. You're welcome to sway if that feels good to you. You can use the hands to maybe lightly tuck the head in here. Notice how this feels. And we'll unroll to standing. And next we'll come into Eagle Pose. So this is the balancing posture that also works the glutes and quads, similar to Chair Pose. So let's start by setting up the arms. We're gonna take the right arm over the left. You can hook the hands around until the palms touch, or you're welcome to simply grasp shoulders here. You can keep your hands as close together as they are comfortable, um, or you can go for that full bind where palms touch. So you'd like your elbows, the upper part of your arm to be about parallel to the ground. So they're not um, like down resting on your chest, but you're lifted here. And let's get into our eagle legs. So firm up your left standing leg. We're going to take the right over the left. If it's available to you, go ahead and hook that foot around the calf. And let's take a breath in here once you, once you feel stable. And then... As you exhale, that's when we can sink down a little bit further. So let's try that one more time. Take a breath in, and then when you exhale, see if you can sink just a little bit lower. And similar to our chair pose, we want good postural alignment here, thinking like that tall spine. And so you also want to be mindful of that slight tuck of the tailbone so that you're not bending too deeply in the lumbar spine. We'll take an inhale breath here. And on your exhale, let's come on out of it. Go ahead and shake out your arms and your legs and, and then we'll switch sides. So this time, the left arm comes over the right and you're either grasping shoulders or touching the backs of your hands together or going for that full bind with palms together. Remember to take a little bit of a lift here so that your upper arm is parallel to the ground. Then we will firm up the right leg and cross the left leg over and hook the foot if that is available to you. We'll take a breath in here and then on your exhale, sink down. Continue to breathe here. Let's take one more inhale and on your exhale, come on out of it. Go ahead and shake out those arms and legs. And then we'll come to lie on the back and we'll set up for bridge pose. So once you're here, your feet are flat on the floor, your knees are bent, and your hands can come down by the hips. We're going to lift the hips up high. So you're kind of peeling your spine off the mat. You can take the hands clasped underneath of you if you would like, but we'll be here for three breaths. Okay, on your next exhale, we're going to lower down slowly with control. And take almost a rocking motion here with your hips to flatten that lumbar part of your spine to the ground. And then we're going to do this just one more time. Lift all the way up, really lighting up those muscles and the glutes and the quads. And we'll take our three breaths here again. And then on your next exhale, let's come all the way down and we'll come into a crunches position, but we're going to take our eagle legs while we're here. So let's bring the knees up to a 90 degree angle and we're going to cross the right leg over the left, wrapping the foot if it's available to you. And then we're going to take the hands by the head. So we're not using the hands to pull on the head at all, just kind of lightly holding the hands by the ears. And we're going to do 10 crunches here. So I'll do a count out loud, but you're welcome to go at your own pace if, um, if you would like. So lifting up, here we go. We're going to crunch one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 
10. Great job. Lower all the way down. Go ahead and stretch out long, reaching through the fingertips to the toes. And then we'll go, we'll come to the other side. So next we'll cross the left leg over the right. Your knees are still at that 90 degree angle. And we'll take that eagle legs here while we're laying on the back. The hands will come to either side of your head and we'll do our count of 10 again as we crunch. So here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And then lower all the way down and let's stretch out one more time. Okay, we're going to take the right knee into the chest. Go ahead and grasp your, your thigh and we're just gonna circle that hip around. And then we'll take the knee across the body to find our supine twist. So the right knee comes to the ground on the left. Look over your right shoulder. Let's just take a breath in here, enjoying this stretch. Let's do one more breath in. And then on your exhale, return to center. Now the right leg comes out straight. We'll take the left knee into the chest and circle it around. You're kind of lubricating the hip joint. And then we're gonna take our supine twist so that the left leg comes to the ground on the right. Send your gaze over to the left. We'll take a nice breath in here and then let it go. Let's do that one more time, taking a breath in. And then on your exhale, we'll come back to center. Okay, go ahead and find a comfortable resting position here. We'll close today by reading our verse just one more time and ending with a prayer. So Joshua 1.9 says this, This is my command, be strong and courageous. Do not be afraid or discouraged, for the Lord your God is with you wherever you go. So dear Heavenly Father, thank you for this time on our mats. Thank you for giving us bodies that we can move and stretch and carry us throughout the day. I thank you for your encouragement, helping us to be strong and courageous. I pray that you lift our spirits, God, that we will not feel discouraged or afraid throughout this day. Father, you are good. Thank you for being with us and sustaining us. We love you, God. And in Jesus' name we pray. Amen. So if you're able to do so, I invite you to stay here just a little bit longer to Selah, that time to rest, reflect, and respond. Thank you for joining me.